All right, one of my YouTube students actually asked me to solve this question for him. So I decided to make uh, a separate video because I find this question kind of challenging for some student. So yeah, okay, I hope I didn't read the question wrongly. The question should be something like a plus x power of 3 and then multiply 1 minus x over 5 power of 5 and then eventually we will get about 27 plus bx plus cx squared. Alright, so we kind of need to find a, b and c and the student told me uh, this one is 8 mark questions. So let's have a look at this question. First, I guess both also I need to expand but because here is up to x power of 2 therefore first term I will expand up to x power of 2 same to the second term. Alright, so it's a plus x power of 3. Expand this one is quite easy I guess. The first one is a power of 3 and then it's 3c1 a power of 2 and then x power of 1 plus 3c2 a power of uh, 1 and then x power of 2. Alright, I still have other term but I just focus the first three term. So I simplify this one should be a cubed plus 3a square x plus 3ax square Alright, plus dot dot dot. Alright, but I just need the first three terms. So I do the same thing for the second expansion, x over 5 power of 5. So you have expand the first term is just 1 power of 5, which is 1. And then the next one will be 5c1. And then 1 power of 4, which is can ignore. Negative x over 5 power of 1 plus the next term will be 5c2. Negative x over 5 power of 2. And then we still have other term at the back but I just need the first three term as usual. So this one should be minus, sorry. 5c1 is 5, simplify is minus x. 5c2 here should be 10. So this one is kind of like 10 multiply x squared over 25. Because 5 squared you get 25. If I simplify, we get 2 over 5. Divide by 5 here. So this one should be plus 2x squared over 5. All right, this one, uh, both of these terms is after I expand. But I will just want the first three term here. So I will just write it here. a cubed plus 3a squared x plus 3a squared. All right. And then I will just plus dot dot dot. And then open another bracket. 1 minus x plus 2x squared over 5. Um, let me write the plus dot dot dot. It make more sense here. Because this one, like impossible, only a three term after you expand. So I always write like this. Okay, so yeah, I hope it doesn't get confused. Let me draw nicely a little bit. Okay, we start here. All right, so what we want to do right now is we need to get a coefficient of x power 1, which is b, coefficient of x power of 2, which is c, the constant, which is 27. So over here, I will find a constant first. Constant, sometimes they use another word they call independent of x. Huh? independence of x also means constant all right so in this case it is 27 so okay there's only one way to get a constant which is use the a cube multiply one only so which is a cube equals to 27 a equals to cube root of 27 which is 3 all right we're done already then we go to the coefficient of x power 1 so here we're actually getting b. Okay, then here we need to find out all the possible terms for x power 1. So a cube need to multiply with x to get a cube x minus x, right? So it's negative a cube x. So I just write negative a cube. I just take the negative 1 to multiply it. Because coefficient means the number in front of x. All right, then the second term, 3a square x need to multiply the constant to get x power 1. All right, so this one should be uh, plus 3a square equals to b. Because both of this term is x power 2, so no matter which term I multiply, I will not get x power 1. So yeah, so I just ignore it. All right, then I will just find my b since I have my a already, which is 3. This is negative 27 plus um, is it this one? Is it a square? Let me see. Uh. Yeah, it's a square is 27, then b is just equals to 0. Okay, in order to guess this one, 3a square, then a square, this is 3ax square. 
All right. Then what we want to do next is we want to find a coefficient of x squared because we seldom get zero for the a, b, and c, but maybe this is the case. All right. In order to get x squared, I constant I need to multiply with x squared, which is two a cubed over five. All right. Then the x need to multiply with x to get the x squared. So this one is called minus three a squared because negative one here. And the last term need to multiply with a constant, which is plus three a squared plus 3a square. Oh no, this one is 3a only doesn't have square. Multiply with 1, so it's 3a. It will equals to c, then it coefficient here will be c. So I will just insert my a value here. Alright, so this one is um 27. So it will be time 2 is 54 over 5 minus this one is 9, 27 plus 9. All right, then I'll use a calculator for this one, divided by 5 minus 27 plus 9. Okay, so it's negative 36 over 5. Okay, it's kind of weird here because normally if in the IGCSE question, um, first thing is I, I seldom get 0, and then I seldom get a fraction like this. For this kind of question, normally I will get about um, some integer. But anyways, this is how I will solve uh, this kind of question. Unless uh, the student type any uh, mistake at the question, or else I guess this is my final answer. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.